My name is John Lee Masters uh, at the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston, South Carolina, and I'd like to speak about type 1 and type 2 mitophagy and evidence for differential uh, initiators of mitochondrial autophagy. So mitochondrial autophagy, or also called mitophagy, is the targeted autophagic sequestration of individual mitochondria. And as shown in this slide, uh, membranes probably derived from the endoplasmic reticulum grow around individual mitochondria. Uh, the, the membranes seal off and sequester that mitochondria, mitochondria and into an autophagosome. Uh, subsequent fusion with primary lysosomes or late endosomes leads to the formation of an autophagic vacuole called an autolysosome, and the mitochondrion is digested. This illustrates the process of mitophagy and its time course using uh, an LC3GFP mouse, transgenic mouse, in which uh, LC3GFP green fluorescent construct has been engineered into the mouse and this labels forming and newly formed autophagosomes. And here uh, mouse hepatocytes in culture are subjected to nutrient deprivation in the presence of glucagon. And after approximately two hours of nutrient deprivation we begin to image the cytoplasm the green fluorescence is the GFP LC3 fluorescence, and the red fluorescence indicates polarized mitochondria. And one sees uh, two examples of a cup shaped phagophore or isolation membrane growing around the end of a mitochondria, uh, progressing, pinching off the, a portion of the mitochondria and uh, eventually sequestering it into a autophagic vacuole. This process takes about six or seven minutes and the mitochondria importantly remain polarized during the progression of the sequestration and then only after the sequestration of the mitochondria do the mitochondria lose their red fluorescence signifying depolarization. Now another example of mitophagy is when we injure individual mitochondria or damage them, in this case using light from a 488 nanometer uh, laser. And so in the upper right panel the circle represents the photo irradiated area and in that area mitochondria rapidly lose their red fluorescence signifying depolarization of those mitochondria. And then over the course of 30 to 60 minutes, one begins to see decoration of the polarized mitochondria with LC3 GFP fluorescence. And unlike what we saw after nutrient deprivation, we don't see cup-shaped isolation membranes grow and surround mitochondria. Rather, there is decoration of the individual mitochondria with little pieces of LC3 GFP which we think are in small vesicles that eventually coalesce and form the autophagosome. But in either event, the autophagosome, nutrient deprivation or photoirradiation damage, in either event, the vacuole acidifies and we have lysosomal digestion occur. Another difference between the photodamage induced mitophagy and the nutrient deprivation induced mitophagy is the sensitivity to PI3 kinase inhibitors. And a PI3 kinase inhibitor like 3-methyladenine or Wartmanin will very strongly inhibit mitophagy occurring during nutrient deprivation, as shown on the left, but uh, does not inhibit mitophagy occurring after photo damage, as shown on the right. And for this reason and others, uh, we have concluded that there's really two types of mitophagy. One associated with nutrient deprivation, where sequestration is dependent on PI3 kinase and by implication on other uh, autophagic uh, molecules like Becklin-1. The uh, membranes grow, LC3 labeled membranes grow and surround the individual mitochondria, form an 
autophagosome that then undergoes autolysosomal digestion. Importantly, the polarization of the mitochondria, which does seem linked to the mitochondrial permeability transition, does not occur uh, until after sequestration has occurred. In type 2 mitophagy, the stimulus for the autophagy begins with mitochondrial depolarization, and uh, the, the depolarized mitochondria seem to then decorate with LC3 GFP containing membranes that coalesce and then form the autophagosome. Importantly, this sequestration is not reliant on PI3 kinase and then does appear to be reliant on molecules like Parkin and PINK1. Another difference between the type 1 and type 2 is in type 1 mitophagy, the process uh, occurs within 10 minutes to, to form an autophagosome. After another few minutes, the mitochondrion is uh, digested. But in type 2 mitophagy, due to direct mitochondrial damage, uh, the sequestration event takes 30 to 60 minutes. But once the autophagosome uh, does form, it acidifies, uh, fuses with lysosomes, and uh, digestive degradation then becomes complete. So this is a, well, very much a working hypothesis for us, uh, sort of uh, rationalizes somewhat disparate data, and perhaps this kind of type 1 and type 2 mitophagy might even apply more generally to autophagy uh, of other organelles.